nice guys always finish last this is not just a quote it is a reality it is the reality of so many men who have decided to become nice guys to women when you are a nice guy to women women will simply use you and throw you away they will never value you they will never respect you they will never see you as anything important in their lives they can never value you there are certain things that many men do that these women actually hate. these are nice guy habits nice guy characteristics that women hate. the first one is trying too hard to impress her when you are working hard morning afternoon night you are working hard to impress this girl you are working hard to make this girl happy you never tell this girl no whatever she asks you to do you immediately and instantly do it you don't tell her no you are always complimenting her throwing her excessive compliments you always do everything she asks you to do even that girl tells you to withdraw your life savings today and, and spend on her you will immediately do it with an open heart you will be happy doing it when a man is constantly doing everything to please a woman, that woman may pretend to like it, but in reality, that woman doesn't like it. She'll see you as a guy who is not smart. She'll see you as a guy who doesn't even know his value, his worth. And of course, she will walk all over you because you are trying to have to impress her. Never give a woman that impression that you are trying to impress her. Because the moment you give a woman that impression that you are trying to impress her, she will never value you. She will see you as a low-value man. And her interest in you will go down instantly. So there is no benefit in trying to impress a woman. Rather, a woman should be the one even in trying to, try to impress you. A woman will treat you better. A woman will value you more when she is the one trying hard and working hard to impress you than when you are the one working hard to impress her. Because when a man is working hard to impress a woman, subconsciously, that woman will see that man as a man who has no self-esteem, as a man who has inferiority complex, as a man who has no options, which is why you are now dedicating your time, attention, emotion, resources into impressing a particular woman. Women hate this. The moment you start doing this, they will hate you for it. Even that you liked you in the first place, the moment you, you start trying to impress her, working hard to impress her, she will instantly start losing her attraction. And that's it. But the funny thing is that these women will never tell you, I don't want you to do this. They will simply allow you to keep doing the stupid thing you are doing and they will keep taking advantage of you until they are tired and they will discard you. The second thing nice guys do that women hate is always being too available. When you are a man who is too available, the woman will see you as a guy who is not doing anything meaningful with your time. And women don't want to be with guys who are lazy, guys who have no value for their time. Guys who are jobless, guys who are not chasing their goals, guys who are not out there conquering the world. Women don't want to be with these kind of guys. You're always calling the girl on the phone, babe, can we meet? Today she'll tell you no. You, you tell her, what about tomorrow? She'll tell you no. You tell her, what about the next day after tomorrow? She'll tell you no. Do you think that that girl will respect you? When you don't respect your time, when you don't value your time, a woman cannot respect you. Because a woman knows that if a guy is successful or if a guy is on the path of success then that guy will not be free he will not always be available so for him to always be available to always be free to always want to see me to always want to be around me that means he's jobless that means he's unambitious and women find these things very unattractive in a man a girl you and a girl will fix a date last minute the girl will tell you i'm busy or something came up and you tell okay what about tomorrow you're asking the girl that cancelled on you, what about tomorrow? Are you that jobless? Even if the girl tells you, okay, something came up now, but let's do it tomorrow. Tell her, no, tomorrow I'm busy. Give her that impression that you are always trying to be doing something meaningful with your time. Never give a woman the impression that you're jobless or you don't have value for your time. The level of respect a woman gives to you also is determined by how you value your time. When you value your time more, most likely that woman will always want your attention because you don't always give it to her. Your attention is scarce. Your, the time you dedicate to her is scarce because you are busy. 
because you're always occupied. She will tend to value the time you even give to her. She'll tell you, okay, let's do it Friday. You are okay, no problem. Friday, most likely on that Friday, she'll still flick on you. Because she's trying to test you to see how desperate you are. Women do this, they play these games just to see how desperate a guy is for them. A girl will intentionally counsel on you. You, you and the girl fixed a date, she'll tell you I'm busy to know how much you try to chase her. And the moment you start trying to chase her, Start telling her, okay, you can see tomorrow. She'll tell you no. You can see the next day, she'll tell you no. That girl will start seeing you as a guy who's desperate, as a guy who's jobless, as a guy who's not doing anything meaningful this time. And that will be the end. Women hate these particular attributes of nice guys, always being too available. A girl should be the one chasing for your time. A girl should be the one chasing for a space in your life, for a space in your busy schedule. Not you run around the girl. That girl will never value you. She will treat you bad. Because she knows that you don't value your time. The third one, and almost every nice guy does this. In fact, all the guy, nice guys always do this. Tolerating a woman's bad behavior. Because you are afraid that you don't want to lose this girl. Because you worked hard to get her. As a nice guy, you're always tolerating her bad behaviors. She will do things you don't like and you will keep quiet. She will assault you. You keep quiet. She will spend your money. Without even informing you in the first place, you keep quiet. She will be talking with other guys or in her DM. You see it, you don't do anything. When a woman keeps disrespecting you, women know what always know what they are doing. Don't think that women don't know what they're doing. Don't think that women are not smart. Women are very smart. They are very smart creatures. They know what they are doing. They are trying to push you to the wall so that you can react. A girl will like you. When she knows that you don't tolerate her BS. Once the woman knows that you're the kind of guy who tolerates all her nonsense, she'll stop liking you. Because women always want to be with guys who have standards. Guys who know how, how to set boundaries. Men who are strict. Women want father figures in their lives. Not the guys who, who are, allow them to misbehave. When a woman misbehaves, subconsciously, she wants you to correct her. She wants you to shout at her. She wants you to Call her to order, just like how her father will do. But when you allow her to ride you, she will keep riding you, keep riding you, and it will get worse. It will get to the point where she will be insulting you verbally because she knows you are weak. And women find all these things unattractive. Women want to be with guys who know how to discipline them, who know how to call them to order. Not guys who allow them to disrespect them simply because you are afraid that if you call her to order, she will leave you. Bro, as long as you are afraid of a girl leaving you, or as long as you are afraid of losing a girl, you must definitely lose that girl because she will do many things that will make that girl to lose attraction for you and she will leave you. The number four is when you are always asking a girl for reassurance. Every now and then, a grown man, I'm talking to you, a grown man, or some of you nice guys, because I'm not, not everyone that watches my videos are nice guys. Some of you understand female nature and how to deal with female nature. If you are constantly asking a woman for her reassurance, every time you're asking this girl, are you still in love with me? Are you sure you're not, you're not seeing anyone else? Am I the only man in your life? Are you sure you're going to be with me forever? When you are constantly asking a woman for reassurance, it speaks low confidence. It speaks of a man who, do, who doesn't know how to thrive without her. Once a woman knows that you cannot survive without her, once she knows that you cannot be yourself without those reassurances, she will start seeing you as a weak man because it's only weak men that always seek for reassurance from women. That thing you are doing is a feminine, is, is a feminine stuff. A woman should be the one asking you Am I the only woman in your life? Are you still in love with me? Because the more a woman needs your reassurance, the more loyal she is to you. But the more you need a woman's reassurance, the more disloyal she will be with you because she will start losing attraction for you. And that means she will start looking for a replacement. ASAP. So don't be in that situation where you always ask the girl for her reassurance. It doesn't make you look like a real man. A real man 
is already comfortable with himself. If a girl wants to leave, that's her business. When a woman knows that you, are, you don't care if she leaves or stay, that's when she starts looking for your own constant reassurance. So, never get yourself to that point where you'll be asking the girl for a constant reassurance. That girl will lose attraction for you and she will leave you. The last one is when you are always afraid of teasing a girl. So many of you nice guys are always afraid of teasing your girls. You are afraid that if I tease her, she will get angry or she will be annoyed. For example, I was with this girl today. She's a brief girl, a very brief girl. I, I've been talking with her for some time. She's, let's just call it an acquaintance who kind of has some level of attraction towards me. So basically, we are together today and I was like, you are very tall, though. Mind you, this girl is very short. Very short. So I told her, you are very tall, and she was laughing. By telling her you are very tall, I'm basically directly telling her, yeah, I'm calling her short. And every now and then, I will always put my hand on her head or grab her neck and tell her, baby, come here, short girl, come here. When you are teasing a woman like this, women love this. It gives them that feeling that they have a masculine guy who is bullying them. And women love this. Learn how to tease your woman. Learn how to flirt with her. Yeah, everything has a limit, but learn how to do it. Women find it sexy. Women find it hot. Women are can be seduced by it when you're always teasing them because it shows that you are trying to dominate them. When you tease a woman, psychologically she feels dominated. Tease her. Once in a while, grab her ass and tell her, baby, come here. That's, her. That's you teasing her. Give her a pet name that you call her. Okay, for example, if the girl is, she is a short girl, call her shorty. 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 If you ask her why you call her house, shorty, tell, tell her that it's a sex name. She will like it. So you have to learn how to tease your women. When you are afraid of teasing a woman, you're always walking on eggshells. That woman will never find you attractive because women want guys who can tease them, guys who can flirt with them. Not you're always trying to play safe every time. Women don't like that. So these are the five things that, as a nice guy, you should never do. Else, women will leave you. Don't even be a nice guy in the first place because nice guys will never finish first. Last position, belongs to them and women will always mistreat and maltreat them never be a nice guy there is no benefits